Hi guys, welcome back to my mom's channel. Today we're going to read The Day After Christmas, made by Leticia Goodwin, hashtag my mom, and dad already, she's sleeping. <coughs> and so, she wanted me to read this book to y'all, so yeah, so that's why I'm reading it. And I did try to make another video, it's just that I was going a little crazy, so I stopped it. So this is the other one. In the morning at KMOB Airport. Ow. Okay. I hit one of my burbos. Now the story, the day after Christmas begins. Once upon a time, a baby girl was born. After Christmas, she was born in Canada. The dad, on the other hand, was not present at the time she was born. He is a citizen of the United States, and he tries to cross the border, but she denied at the Canada border. Therefore, he is not able to cross the border at child birth. Blind. Okay, I don't want y'all to get blind, so. <coughs> that's my mom, and that's my godmother named Mary, but I call her Mama Mary. So. Yeah. On Christmas Day, the mother's precious position in the... In is this beautiful and healthy child who is to be born. She was very excited to welcome her into the world, which was my mom, who is very excited. Crying baby and smiling mother. That's me. Books closing, and that's my mom. Weighing eight pounds and six ounces. Mary in the hospital room, waiting for the coming of her friends. So first it's this picture. Yes, and it's this picture. Yeah, I could have showed both, but I already showed you all both. On the day of, I thought I was going to say on the day, oh, on the day, Christmas, whatever. On the day of the child's birth, a loving couple, Anna and Alec, brought the mother of this little girl to the hospital. And here comes Mary, not only is she a neighbor, but a friend. Through Dick and Dan, she was the first who held this baby in her arms and to fed her like her own child. These two dear friends and neighbor took care of this baby while the mother was recovering. <coughs> Surrounded with family and friends. Alec, Otto, David, and William. There's the picture and the words that are backwards for you, so. Yeah, I kind of went close at the end, but. The baby and the two happily, happy gentlemen. <clears throat> After seven days, the mother and the child went home. Yeah. That's all it says, and here's proof that that's all it says. Yeah. And this is the picture. <clears throat> this is a long book. Tell us my classmates I gave them to. From when I was in first grade, it says all about it. Oh, she wrote this book. So, yeah. 
So I'll tell you at the end why. <clears throat> Napping time. Every nap time of this little girl, the mother's favorite lullaby was Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Why can't I be good as I? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. <clears throat> She's singing, rhyming, swinging, and swinging up and down. I'm the one who's swinging. <clears throat> oh, my voice. Child passport. Never mind. Did I even show you? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I skipped the page. No, I didn't. Tonight, this child was her dad. <clears throat> they must travel across the border. A passport is required. It's occurring is for this little girl. Was the hardest and the most difficult. Experience the mother ever had. Getting a picture of this baby. Can sit on the chair while you photograph is taking a picture. Wait, what? Do you think this baby can sit on the chair while the photographer is taking a picture? No way. Guess what the mother did? Guess what the mother did? She held her from the bottom of the baby suit onto her back and carefully held steadily without dropping her. Which the suit was my clothes. Passport, passport. <coughs> it's night time. That's why you all know I like maybe one or two times. I don't remember. Easter Bunny. After the pass paperwork. Was completed. It was Easter time, bunny time. The mother brought the child through the border. The office officer also known as the Border Patrol officer screened the mother of the slow girl. The officer questioned her, "Where do you want to go? Where is the father?" The mother answered, "We're going to visit our family in the U.S. for Easter." The officer asked. Again, why the father of this child is not with them? She replied that he is at work. Do you have a... I don't know this word at all. Wait, guys, I have to pause the video for a second so I can ask my mom because she doesn't want y'all to hear her voice. So. Okay. F and eight. F and eight to authorize you to bring this baby without him. <clears throat> she answered, I didn't know it was required. So, did I ever show you the pictures? Easter time. Whatever. <clears throat> Easter buddy. Thank goodness the officer was convinced. She allowed the mother and the child to cross the border. Baby transport. <clears throat> <clears throat> the car seat. At the airport, the mother seat securely carried the child around with sturdy headdress. So that this baby could rest its head. Imagine this mother was pushing the strollers with luggage and car seat. <clears throat> the car seat. Arrival to the airport. At Mobile Airport, the mom, the child, and the dad were finally united. 
Child bonding with the dad, Tony and Cheyenne, which is my dad and me. The Goodwin family, Cheyenne, Letitia, Laddie, which is still my mom, and Anthony, Tony, which is still my dad. Who do you think the child was? Her name is Cheyenne, as you already should know. Um... So, the first grade class danger were amazing. The kids were very evidently listener. The list of the 24 kids are the following. Joseph Abraham, Carly Cape, Karen Dillon, Van Diaz, Connor Diaz, Bella Drake, my best friend, Danny Fluker, Cheyenne Goodwin, I wonder who that person is. Ryland Hamners, Amelia, John Amelia Johnson, Olivia Jones. Okay, I don't know what she was doing. Luca, Kara Mivik, Drake Lanner, Taylor Manley, Trace McDaniel, Callie McGuire, Emily Miller, Jack Overstreet, Jake Poniger, Noah Schilling. Wow. Oh, Carter Tran, Carson Marco Waters, Ellen Whitworth, Allison Manley. Allison? Wait, why is it Allison Manley and Taylor Manley? They are not sisters. Taylor has a brother. Well, Allison, she, uh, in the first grade, she used to be in the other first grade class. But then our principal, Miss Martin is her name, she said that, like, probably she talked to her mom and, like, she let Allison go in our class. And so that's why she's the last one. We still have 23. I would like to attend my thank to the, my beloved husband, Anthony Goodwin, and my daughter for their expiration that they had to complete the story and special thanks to Lydia Colonna for editing the story. Celeb of the week. So I was the student of the week. And so every single time, if you're the student of the week <coughs> in first grade in my school, you would get this paper. Everybody would. And then, so if you're the student of the week, your mom would have to come on Wednesday, I think. But I don't know if it's still if they're still doing that, but they would have to go, like, on Wednesday, and they would have to bring a story and read it to the class. So, my mom was like, oh, well, I'll make my own story, since everybody knows, like, mostly all the stories, I'll just make my own. So, like, she did, of course, because I just read it to y'all. Then this was a picture of my whole entire class. I want to find Bella real quick. Aw. I'm sad. Bella's out of the picture. She was right in the half of it. So I'll show you. My friend Bella, she was right Where's it? Right there. You can kind of see half of her body. But then she got cut out of the picture. Sad. She was doing this. Well, she's not... 
Well, we're in the same class now, but like, in the second grade, it was me and Lily, which we were friends still. Yes, we are a group of five now. Emily Autumn, which is the new classmate this year. Bella, Lily, Caroline. <clears throat> Me. That's the five. So, yeah. But that's it for the day after Christmas. Guys, let me ask you a question really quick. Do you want me to read the back? Let me see if I should read it. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I could read it. Wait, what? It says I juggle. Why does it say I juggle? I don't know why. Sorry, guys. I had to pause the video for a little bit. So, my mom, she told me why. <clears throat> she said that she juggled. And she was, like, talented or whatever. I forgot what she said, but I'll just read it. <clears throat> My name is Letitia Labrador Goodwin. I was born on the 4th of July in Musa Kabu City, Philippines. I graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Secretal Ministry in and M. B. A. from University of San Car San Carlos. I think it's supposed to say Saint Carlos, not San Carlos. And in my bachelor of business, I earned two my. The magna units <clears throat> units from courses that I took from Brock University in St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada. Most of my friends call me different nicknames like Letty, Tish, Tisha, and my mom uses to call me Tess. Father Joseph Big Gardner, who sponsored me in the studies towards the end of my degree, he used to call me my flower girl. I use my imagination on where I'm going to experience most of them all. At work, all customers love me. All customers, says customer, but it's supposed to be customers. Love, customer loves me. Customers love me. All the people metric survey, surveys, my name are always mentioned. I always welcome them with a smile and knowing their names ahead. Of time, so I could call their names as soon as they enter the door. All customers feel special on how I accompany them. When military visit F S F S M O B, I roll call their names as if I. I'm checking attendance, and all are smiling, asking questions, questions, like, it says question, 
The teacher told me the truth. Am I your favorite? I answered them with a smile. If you invest I, in knowing people and learn how to listen to each individual person, then you will learn how to how important that person is. I am married to Anthony Goodwin, and we have one daughter, Cheyenne. My time is very hectic with my full-time job at Signature Flight, part-time bookkeeper at Port Logistics with my husband's business. I managed to copy with my daughter's schedules, school piano lessons, dance class, and martial arts karate class. She is now entertaining entering third grade at Corpus Christi School in Mobile, Alabama. I juggle. And I already told you why it says I juggle. So, yeah. So, that's done. So, bye, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notifications, and hit the bell. See you soon. Bye.